Hey there. Uh, this video is sort of a response to CJ's video on how to formally defect from the Roman Catholic Church. Now, I'm not, I was never baptized Roman Catholic. I was baptized in the Southern Baptist Church. So I decided it would be a good idea to finally take myself formally off the rolls, even though I have not been in, inside a Southern Baptist Church for about 20 years. Uh, a little bit about the Southern Baptists. They consider them, they claim to have 16 million members and are therefore one of the largest Protestant groups in the country. Uh, in order, they count everyone who's ever been baptized as a member very much like the Roman Catholics do. In order to get off the rolls, and this is according to my own church's website, my old church's website, you have to die or send a letter saying you have changed churches or send a letter saying you formally rescind and defect from the Southern Baptist. These last two almost never happen. And the reason for this is they will take those letters and read them out in front of the congregation. Yes, they will. Uh, at least that's what they did when I was going. And that was 20 years ago. I see no reason for them to have changed that. Uh, so, and one thing you have to understand about them is the Southern Baptists as a group have no sense of personal boundaries. They really do not. Uh, part of their whole thing is social control because it's really hard to be a Baptist. It's really hard to hold yourself up to that standard and never drink in public and ne don't dance and don't uh, have sex before marriage and don't and you know and do everything that you're supposed to do. Uh, and in order to, I thought it was, I thought every church did this. I thought it was completely normal for a deacon to show up at your house unannounced with his Bible, let you know, and of course you're not going to turn him away. He's the deacon. So he comes in and talks to you, talks to everyone for a while and then how you have a little Bible study and just see how you're doing. I mean, they don't phrase it as in we're checking up on you. They phrase it in we're concerned about you. Are you doing all right? We want to make sure you're doing all right. And because of that, there is, and because, you know, the whole boundaries issue, when I sent them an email, I broke up with my church by email, which I think is hysterical. I told them not to contact me. Do not come to my house. Do not try to contact me and make me change my mind. As, the, as a result of that, I'm not sure if they've taken me off the rolls or not, but I'm sure they have. Uh, but I am... I am about 95% sure that they read that email out in front of the, in front of the church congregation. Uh, I know there's still a few people there who remember me, uh, but that's how they do things. Uh, and also being a, being a loner or not being part of the group is, is a cause for concern with Southern Baptists. They don't like it. If you're, uh, tend to run off by yourself, they, uh, uh, it's it's considered uh, worrisome, basically. Uh, but I no longer wanted to be considered a Southern Baptist. I certainly haven't believed that way. And since I was 20 or 21, I uh, I was baptized when I was 15 uh, by immersion, <laughs> which, by the way, I'm scared of the water and they dunked me under. So that was kind of sli slightly traumatic. Uh, but I no longer believe in them. I not, not only do I no longer believe in a God, I certainly do not support their social decisions at all. Uh, this is a church that originally was created out of pure racism because they didn't want... Uh, the church goes back to before the Civil War era, and uh, they disagreed with the other Baptists on the, on the issue of slavery and broke off. And 1995, at the Southern Baptist Convention, they decided that they were wrong, and they formally said, hey, our bad. They told uh, the thing and they said, we apologize. We were wrong. We shouldn't have been racist. We're sorry. And, uh, you know, 100 years later, whatever. Uh, same convention in 95, they, ought, they issued a statement that any of Southern Baptist Church that ministered to people with AIDS and didn't mention that God doesn't like it doesn't like homosexuals, doesn't like gay sex or gay uh, lifestyle, that they would be kicked out of the Southern Baptist Church. Now, Southern Baptists have home rule. You're not, you can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to kick a church out for minding its own business and doing their churches the, the way they're 
the way they want to. They're supposed to be independent. So they're not even following their own rules. And they put homophobia above uh, church independence, which no matter how you feel about religion, that's not how they're supposed to do things. So I've had problems with them a long time before I even considered myself an atheist. Uh, so that's how, so if anyone is a Southern Baptist and they want to get out, you have to send an email to the actual church that baptized you. And be, be prepared for some backlash. Uh, I haven't gotten any, but it was only Sunday, so we'll see. We'll see. And so I don't know. Well, uh, that's what I did and feel pretty good about doing it. And I hope if anyone else, if anyone else wants to get off that 16 million list, that's how you do it. And good luck. See you.